everyone. Sorry I missed you last week. Going forward, I won't be posting a video every week, so subscribe so you know when the next one is posted. This week we are going to make fun paper pinwheels. So let's get started! Gather your supplies. You will need a piece of paper. You can use really any paper. Plain office paper works, um, construction paper works, origami paper works, even pieces from an old calendar. You'll need it to be cut into a square, but if it's a rectangle, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make it into a square. You will also need a stapler, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a pin, some beads, I don't know if you can see them, I'm using really small beads, if you've got just a longer wooden bead that also works, but this is about a half inch long when I stack them all up, so either a half inch long bead or three smaller beads, that would make a half inch long piece. And then you will lastly need a stick. I like using like soft willow, but if you don't have willow, you can go on a walk and find a stick, or you can use a dowel, or you can even use a pencil and just stick the pin through the eraser at the top. All right, if your paper is already in a square, you can skip this step, but if it is not, here is a quick and easy way to make it into one. To begin, simply take the bottom edge this edge of your paper and fold it so that it is perfectly aligned. It's okay if it's not perfectly aligned, but as even as you can get it with the side edge. And then align the corner so it folds nicely in half before creasing the side seam, like so. Then, <laughs> then take your scissors and snip along this line just to remove the excess that will not become your square. You can use this for a bookmark or just recycle it. Then unfold your paper and there you have it. You've got your little square and you're ready to make your pinwheel. The next step is to fold your paper the opposite way, like you just did with making your square, but so that you have another crease going in the opposite direction, like so. The previous one went this way. So now you've got this little plus sign in the middle of your paper. Next, take your pencil and draw a straight line, as straight as you can get it, between two of these lines, about an inch or so away from the center. I don't know if you can see it. It is right here. Then duplicate that line by starting where you ended there and drawing a line straight up to there, then straight over there, then back down to your original line. I darkened the line with marker to make it more visible. It's that blue line right there. Once you have finished drawing your square, you should have an approximately one and a half to two inch wide square. The next step is to cut along your creased lines to the corners of your square. Stop right at the edge and then go on to your next one. Continue around in this manner until you have cut all four corners down to the outside corners of your square in the middle. It's okay if it goes slightly over or not quite there, because it doesn't have to be perfect, but as near as you can get it will be wonderful. As you can see, I have trimmed the corners on every other point. This is to make a neater centerpiece, but you don't need to do it. Take two opposite points. If you trim them, choose two that have trimmed points, such as these two, and gently lay them down in the middle before pressing them tight. Do not crease here and here, 
or else it won't blow very well when you try to use it. Hold tightly in the center and then take your stapler, wiggle it in between two of the points and then staple in the center. Careful to get both points in with your staple. Take your last two remaining trimmed corners and press them into the center to make a pinwheel shape. If yours does not look like this, try your other two remaining corners. Take your staple and wiggle it in just like you did before, but this time try not to squish these other points. Staple in the center, and there you have is your pinwheel shape. Now you'll just need to connect it to the stick and you're done. To finish your pinwheel, you will need your prepared paper pinwheel shape, your stick, dowel, or pencil, and your pin and bead or beads. To begin, take your pin and carefully press a hole with the tip through the center of your pinwheel. Try not to poke yourself because that would hurt very much. <laughs> Once you get it through, push it so that the tip is all the way at the end and then slip on your beads. Next, and you might need a parent's help for this, carefully press your pin through your wood like so. Your pin could bend, so it's probably better to get a parent's help with this section. Once you get it through, push it so that your beads, pin, and paper pinwheel are very snug together. Now you're nearly finished. You've only got one more step. This step you may need a parent's help with. Simply bend down the back of your pin and press it, press it tightly against your wood. Now, if the point of your pin is very sharp, you can either have a parent cut it off or you can wrap a piece of string very tightly around it to cinch it tightly to your wood. To use, simply blow into one of the cups on your pinwheel and it will spin. Enjoy! You can also bring them outside on a breezy day and watch them spin in the wind. Bye!